Hi, I'm Pete, and this is a travel puzzle vlog. I was just away for three weeks traveling to Ottawa. Now I'm back in Sioux Lookout, and I wanted to show you the puzzles I brought on my trip, why I brought them, what I did with them down there. Also, while I was in Ottawa, of course, I did some shopping. So I got some toys, some games, and some puzzles. So uh, I'll show them off as well. So let's step into the puzzle torium and see what I got. Here we are in the Puzzle Torium, and these are my travel puzzles. Uh, the puzzles I brought on my three week vacation to Ottawa. So, this is the Moyu Milong 12 layer. Um, a fantastic puzzle. I solved it a few times when I was in Ottawa, and I did a video on it. I think it's just the right size to put in your backpack, put in your luggage, and take on a trip like that, as long as you're going to have uh, the time to actually uh, solve it and enjoy it. Um, the next one that I solved quite a bit is the Master Clover Cube. Uh, I had lots of fun with this, solved it quite a few times, uh, and I even made a video about it. Just, just a great puzzle. I think it's a really good bargain. Now my uh, double, my double circle cube, I uh, double crazy cube. Yeah, um, I you know what? I did do a little bit of work on this, but uh, it is a tough puzzle. Uh, I'm trying to work out a way not just to solve it, but to explain how to solve it so it'll work for everybody. Um, so, you know, I got a little bit done, but uh, I had to wait uh, really to do a lot of solving on it uh, until I got back here. And, and this is going to be one of my priorities um, moving forward. So uh, yeah, it was it was still fun, and I did, did get some time on it. And the one I just really didn't do much on, <laughs> my Bermuda Jupiter. Now yeah, what can I say? Um, it's actually this this solve is quite far along, but again, I'm I'm trying to work out a way not just to solve it, uh, but to uh, to actually uh, be able to explain how to solve it uh, well and and have a solution that works for for every possible configuration of the puzzle. So those were my travel puzzles. Now I don't uh, generally, when I'm driving somewhere and it's a, the Ottawa trip was a two and a half day drive each way. So I don't really do much puzzling in the hotel at night. It's just, I'm too tired. And I just, you know, I just usually want to relax. So if I had, um, you know, wanted to do some puzzling, I would have brought maybe uh, one more puzzle, maybe two more puzzles. So those are my Ottawa travel puzzles, and I'm curious to know, uh, what puzzles would you bring on a three-week vacation? Let me know down in the comments. All right, we're back, and this is the purchases part of the vlog. Of course, I went to Toys R Us when I had a chance to go to a store. It's a lot of fun, I like looking at all the toys, and it's probably no surprise that I got some... Gravity tracks. That's right. I got myself another vertical starter set. And uh, so that makes my third vertical stra starter set. Um, I think that's probably enough. Um, the, the price on these was, was fantastic. So that's one of the reasons why um, I got it. Uh, you know, they were quite expensive when they first came out, but the price is, is quite, quite reasonable right now. Um, now, I haven't done a lot of gravity tracks uh, lately, and there's a reason for that. And it's not because I've given up on gravity tracks or lost interest. It was because I was working from home, and I don't have a lot of room. And the uh, puzzle torium here also uh, doubles as my work from home office. Uh, and since I had to leave that work from home setup uh, out all the time and ready to go, I just didn't have any room left to set up... Uh, gravity tracks but i have room now i made some room so we'll uh, be doing some more uh, gravity tracks in a, in the near future and of course since i went to uh get some gravity tracks uh the starter set of course i got some accessories There we go. So I got a couple more, uh, let's see, another trampoline, another flip, which some people don't like them, but I kind of like them. And a couple more uh, jumpers, because they're always 
they are always handy to have. So that's my Gravity Tracks haul. Uh, I tried to get some scoops. Actually, on the first day I went to Toys R Us, they had quite a few scoops. But because I wanted this and it was very heavy and I'd gone there by, by bus, I thought, well, I'll just come back and I'll get, uh, I'll get it uh, tomorrow when I have the car. <laughs> of course, I didn't get back for a few days and they didn't have any more scoops left. But anyway, I'm, st I'm still happy with, uh, with this haul. So that is my... Uh, Gravity Track shopping spree in Ottawa. And of course, no trip to Ottawa would be complete without me going to Mastermind Toys. So there we go. That's my Mastermind Toys. And let's see what I got here. So, okay. So, oh, there's, there's a receipt. Don't look at that. So what did I get? Well, these are, these are kind of noisy, so, okay, okay, and there we go, okay, great, so what did I get? Well, I got uh, these uh, two Perplexus Go puzzles, and I don't really know a lot about them. Uh, but I do like the fact that they're spherical and uh, and they're fairly small. Um, yeah, I really like this form factor. It, it reminds me of the uh, bigger uh, Perplexus puzzles. And um, so there you go. This is just, they have two of them, right? This is called the Spiral. And this one is called the uh, the Stairs. So, and yeah, you see it has the stairs in there. Um, not really kind of kind of a neat thing. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to playing with those, uh, the two perplexus puzzles. And uh, when I that's all I really wanted to get. I was checking out to see if they had any gravity tracks or any uh, any other uh, types of puzzles, but uh, they didn't. But I I got the two perplexus puzzles. And then uh, when I was at the checkout, they told me oh I could get this uh, checkout uh, item. For a low cost this was ten dollars um scissors paper stone so it's basically you know a card version of rock paper scissors they have circular cards in there um and it seems like a very fast paced game um it's for two to four uh, two to six players and it's ages six and up um so i think that uh i think that this would be a cool game for for some of the, the uh, kids uh, that i work with and uh, might even be fun for us to play at the office. Um, so yeah, so I just decided to, to grab that game as well. Wow. Uh, well, that's it. That's my uh, haul from my trip to Ottawa. So uh, yeah, as always, I appreciate your comments, your questions, your suggestions. Uh, do let me know what puzzles you would take for a long vacation. Uh, let me know in the comments. I am curious to know what sorts of things you'd, you'd like to solve and kind of what what your thinking would be uh, as far as bringing puzzles. Um, you're bringing an easy puzzle, a hard puzzle. Yeah, uh, let me know down in the comments. And of course, any other comments or ideas you want to share with me. And uh, well, that's it for me. As always, thanks for watching.